think that it's very important that we get to the bottom of the facts for the American public so that we can understand what's happened. The impeachment debate comes to Hampton Roads with a local rep defending her stance on why the president should face charges. That's our top story this Thursday night. Thanks for staying up. I'm Nicole Livas. David is off. Congresswoman Elaine Luria called for a town hall. No surprise here. There was a lot of heated debate from both sides. We are leaving the spin on cable news to tell you exactly how tonight's town hall played out both inside and outside. Chenu Her starts us off. In front of her constituents in Virginia Beach, Congresswoman Elaine Luria stood firm in her impeachment inquiry of President Donald Trump. But I truly feel um, that this is a sad time for our country. And I did not go to Washington to impeach the president. I didn't spend 20 years in uniform defending our country to watch something like this happen and to watch our Constitution be trampled on. Congresswoman Luria took written questions from supporters as well as those who are against impeachment. Why would you seek to remove the president of the United States for nothing? No impeachable offenses. If we're going to do an inquiry, that is an investigation to find facts. Her message resonated with some audience members, like Robin Kessler. She's not saying I'm voting to impeach him, but she wants an inquiry to go forward, and I think that's reasonable. But outside of New Hope Baptist Church, Trump supporters made sure their voices on the impeachment talks were heard. They think the congresswoman has no basis for the inquiry. The only thing that Elaine Laurie has done since she's been here is sign on to this ridiculous impeachment uh, inquisition which is not even a hearing. Congresswoman Loria, however, points to comments President Trump made Thursday morning suggesting China should also investigate Joe Biden and his family. And I think it's uh, reprehensible and I don't think that we can allow it. Um, and that just reinforces my decision here to, to continue to move forward with an impeachment inquiry. I want to be able to look in the mirror um, and look and say that I was on the right side of history and, and not that this had any sort of political ramifications. All right, Janu, so what do her constituents think about her impeachment inquiry? Yeah, that's a great question. As you saw, they were all there tonight. Uh, Congressman uh, woman Loria says she received hundreds of phone calls from constituents, which she claims more than half have supported her. But I did ask her about what the conversations were like with people who don't support that. Mm -hmm. She says, actually, so far, no one has actually directly approached her saying that they disagree with her decision. All right, thank you, Janu.